squad and welcome back. We are back with another deck profile and I'm hitting you with the Lunar Light deck profile. This deck is really fun to play and it's all about these beast warriors or pretty much furries. Let's just say it like that. Dancing with the moon behind them and I really like the artwork so blah, blah, blah. so let's just begin. So right off the bat we are running three copies of Yellow Martin, I think. I think that's how you say it. So when this card is in your hand or in the graveyard, you can target one little light card. You control accept little light yellow martin, return it to the hand, and if you do special summon this card defense mode, but banish this card when it leaves the field. If this card is in your graveyard, activate uh, you can add one Lunar Light Spell or Chocolate from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect once per turn. I really like that effect, so... Now, uh, we are playing three copies of Black Sheep. Black Sheep, you contribute to either add a Polymerization or a Lunar Light, Light Monster from your deck to your hand. Next, three copies of Butterfly, Purple Butterfly, which... You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to target one little light monster you control. It gains a thousand attack points until the end of this turn. You can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one little light monster from your hand. You can only use that. Oh, you can only use the effect once per turn, which I think it's a really good effect. Next, two copies of no, three copies of Emerald Bird. See, when this card is no more special summon, you can send a little light card from your hand to a graveyard, and if you do draw one card, then you can send one card by a card effect. You can, If this card is sent to a graveyard by a card effect, you can target one level four lower little light monster, banish that target. If your graveyard accept little light white bird special summon, this is the fifth spot, but negate its effects, you can only use each effect once per turn. Next, two copies of White Rabbit. You see, when this card is normal summon, you can basically special summon. Uh, you can summon. You can summon a monster from the graveyard, but it's only once per turn. Or, yeah. So you can basically once per, you can target spells and traps. I guess I f I wrote I wrote that really different. I read that really badly. So you can send spells and trap cards to the hand equal to the number of Lunar Light monsters you control. Next, this card is amazing. Two card, two copies of Crimson Fox. Crimson Fox is an amazing card because if this card is sent to a graveyard by a card effect, you can target one monster your opponent controls, and that attack that target's attack becomes zero. Which is really good because a lot of the cards can attack twice. And like, you have Cat here, who if she attacks, you can it, it can attack. It's not destroyed the first time you attacked with it, but she can attack again. And basically, that's already four thousand eight hundred points of damage right off the bat. Amazing. Next, we have three copies of Blue Cat. You see, when this card is special summon, you can target one little light monster you control except blue cat. It attacks is its attack is the attack of that card is doubled, which is even better than Crimson. Not really better. If you have if you get the combo with this card and Crimson Fox, you basically are winning. So good, but it's only until the end of this turn. And once per turn, you can uh, if this card on the field is destroyed by a card effect, you can special summon a little light monster, which. It says destroyed, not sent to the graveyard, so you can't count that as sending it to the fusion summoning. So, we are running three copies of Little Light Keldo Chick. You see, this card, you can set, this card basically you can send a monster from your deck, or a hand, or extra deck to the graveyard. This card's name is treated as that monster until the end of this turn, and... You can target one palm position in your graveyard, add it to your hand. You can only use each effect of Lunar Light Chick once per turn. If this card is banished, you can activate one of these effects. Your opponent cannot activate card's effects until the during the battle phase. So that's amazing. Next, this deck has some pendulums, and most of the return to the hand cards are because of Lunar Light Wolf, because the pendulum effect is you can pendulum summon monsters except Lunar Light monsters. 
and cannot be negated once per turn, you can future summon one Lunalite monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. Basically, you can use it to add it back to your hand and summon it, because if then, if your Lunalite monster attack, attack a defense position monster, it deals piercing battle damage, which is really good. And we can't have just one Pendulum without having a second one, so we're running three copies of Tiger. So, you see the Pendulum effects once per turn, you can turn one little light monster in the graveyard, special summon it, but it cannot attack. Its effects are negated and also destroyed during the end phase. And the monster effect is this card is fields are destroyed by battle or card effect, you can turn one little light monster in the graveyard, special summon it, you can only use each effect once per turn. Which I like is that both effects have ways to get them to just special summon Lunar Lights. Next, I'm running one copy of Black Wings Zephyrus the Elite. If this card is in your graveyard, you can pay for 100 life points and add one monster, uh, add one, you turn one face-up card you control to the hand, and then you can special summon him in defense mode. But you do take 400 points, which is good because you can just add the pendulums back to your hand, as I said. Next, three copies of Lunar Light Perfume. We are into the spells now. This card is amazing. Because you can target one Lunar Light Monster in your graveyard, special summon it. You can banish this card from the graveyard, then discard one card, add one Lunar Light Monster from your deck to your hand. That's amazing. That's absolutely insane. And now, two copies of Lunar Light Fusion. You see. Basically, you can fusion summon a Lunar Light monster from your extra deck using monsters from the field at hand. If your opponent controls a monster that was special summon, though, uh, from the extra deck, you could uh, use a Lunar Light monster from your deck or extra deck fusion materials. So basically, you can summon out Leo so easily, which Leo is supposed to be like the hardest like boss monster of this deck. It's supposed to be like hard to summon, but it's not even that hard. Next. Two copies of Polymerization. Sorry, there's a card behind it. Two copies of Polymerization. Even though you should run, uh, you sh don't run Polymerization. Run Fusion Subtitle. It's a way better Polymerization. Next, I'm playing one Cattle Call because you can send one face-up card you control to the one face-up monster you control to the graveyard whose original type is Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast. Special summon one monster from your extra deck with the same original type, but cannot attack. It's a victory they get also destroyed or the So basically I use this card. Like if you have like if you have let me just find the Crimson Fox on the field, you can use cattle called Tribute Crimson Fox, then you you target a monster, your opponent controls, the tax is zero, special summon Panther, and then if you have polymerization, like this you can use polymerization to summon Lunar Light Leo Dancer with obviously another two Wing Beast type monsters, which is not bad at all. Alright, now moving on. <sighs> Foolish Burial Goods. We're using it to send perfume to the graveyard, so then if you are like stuck, you draw this card, send it perfume to the graveyard, possibly then banish perfume to add like black sheep from your deck like because black sheep could really turn the duel around for you it's really a good card i feel next we are running three fire formation take key because like when this card is activated you can add a little four lower beast type monster from your deck to your head all beast type warriors gain a hundred attack points that's so amazing Obviously, we're gonna run three of it, but it can only be activated once per turn. Next, two copies of Called by the Grave for that some good defense. Like, obviously, Called by the Grave is a really nice card to have in pretty much any deck. It goes well in any deck. So does Monster Reborn. And off to the traps. We have two traps. We have Lunar Light Re, uh, re Anchoration Dance Dance. I don't know. I don't know, and if I'm if I'm sounding sick, sorry guys, that's because I am sick. If a monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, add up to two little light monsters from your deck to your hand. You can only activate this card once per turn, which is not a bad effect. Next, we're running Lunar Light Serenia Dance, I think. So when a fusion monster is fusion summoned to your field, except during the damage step, when this card 
you can target one of those monsters, apply this effect. Special summon on Moonlight Token, Beast Warrior, Dark Level 4, 2000 attack, 200 defense from your, to your opponent's side of the field. That card gains 500 attack points for each boss to your opponent controls. Even if this card leaves the field during the end phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard. And if you do special summon on Moonlight Monster from your deck, you can only activate one you can only activate this card once per turn. Amazing. But we only have two trap cards. And now we're off on to the extra deck. Now I am running two copies of Little Light Cat. Little Light Cat is basically so easy to summon. You just need two Little Light Monsters. And cannot be destroyed by battle once per turn during the main phase. You can target one of the Little Light Monster for the rest of this turn. First time each monster your opponent controls would be destroyed by battle, it's not. Can't read because there's a shadow here, so we're gonna read it here. Destroy a battle and monster is destroyed. Can attack all monsters your opponent controls two twice each and inflict a hundred points of damage when this card attacks. Which that's amazing. Like if you combo with blue cat and like crimson fox, like Dude, that's insane. Like, you can just get your monster, your opponent's monster to zero and double this card's attack. That's basically twice each. That's already 8,000 life points down. You basically won the duel. Amazing effect. Next, we are running Blue Light Panther once. Because, you see, this card requires Cat to be summoned. And, I think one more... Yeah, one more Little Light monster. Must be first fusion summoned with the above fusion materials. Cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects once per turn during your main phase 1. You can activate one of these effects for the rest of this turn. The first time each monster your opponent controls activates their effects for the rest of this turn. The Okay, I'm rereading re it. Control would be destroyed by battle if it's not destroyed. And also, this card can attack all your opponent's monsters twice each. If this card attacks, destroys the monster by battle. This card gains 200 attack points, d not 200, it deals 200 points of damage to your opponent, which is basically just a slightly better version of Cat. I am running also a little Ludolite Saber Dancer, because you just need three Ludolite monsters, and must be first, you just summon, it gains 200 attack points for each few beast we. Beast warrior monster that is banished on your graveyard. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects during your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard and target one fusion monster. You it gains 3000 attack points until the end of this turn, so you can only activate this either one of these effects once per turn. That this card is really good for the low cost of fusion summoning that it requires. Next. I am running Ludolite Leo Dancer. So, the text is tiny, so I can't read it, so I'm just gonna read it like this. Alright, so, you do require Panther to summon this card and two more Ludolites, which is why we have all the ways easy to summon it, which is supposed to be. Oh no, you require to summon Panther to summon this card, but for Panther you need Cat, so that's like, oh no, this is so hard to summon. No, it's not. So,. Must be first fusion summoned with the above fusion materials you control. Cannot be special summoned by any other ways. And cannot be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effects. This card can make a second attack during each battle phase. Once per turn, if this card attacks a monster during the end of the battle step, you can destroy all special summoned monsters your opponent controls. That's amazing. Especially since it has so much attack points. And it cannot be destroyed by effects or targeted by them. Next, I am running Starving Venom Dragon. Because I feel like you shouldn't run this card in here. I just felt like I wanted it deck. Because, look at, like, you need two Dark Monsters on the field except tokens, which we have a lot of. So, if this card is Fusion Summon, you can make this card's original attack equal to the opponent's specials. Equal to the opponent's special summon monster until the end of this turn. Once per turn, you can target one level 5 or higher monster. Your opponent controls until the end of this turn. Turn the name becomes of the monster named the rep so replace the name this effect with the monster's original effect. Your fusion 
summon card is destroyed, you can destroy all monsters and portals. So basically, you're supposed to summon the token on his field to then have him become out of the light card to possibly way easily, easily out your way through everything. And for the licks, I am running a Nightmare Phoenix and a Nightmare Cybers. That's obvious. I'm running Wee Witch's Apprentice, Under uh, Under Clock Taker. I'm running Triple Burst Dragon and Borlord Sword Dragon. So that's it for the deck profiles, guys. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like. Tell me in the comments if you want more. Subscribe and make sure to hit the bell so you won't miss any more videos. Enjoy the Soul Squad, and I'll see you next time. Bye.